Greetings YouTube, Kudis here, and let's continue being Aragon, King of Gondor, Rome, and everything in between. Where I last left off, I was pondering an incredibly difficult choice. To backstab P.U. Kisti or not to. And in between last episode and this episode, I've let actually a full day pass to think about this more thoroughly. And I've come to the decision, like, that is multifold. First of all, Austria is not worth keeping as an ally for the future. I wanted to pew them. I really did. I mean, their previous ruler was like, what, eight years older than their current ruler? Look, their current ruler is 74. I expected both of them to die really quickly and no hair would have been like instant pew. But that did not happen. And with a two-year-old strong claim here, that will most likely not happen for at least 50 years if everything goes well. And by then I wouldn't be able to integrate them by the end of the campaign anyway. Which means I wouldn't be able to form Rome. Because I need Wien and I need whatever Italian provinces they have. Which is just, Vene just uh, Friol. I need Friol and I need Wien from them. So... I have decided that also, well at the same time, there's another point to consider too, is that the aggressive expansion that Austria incurs whenever I take like giant gobbles of the HRE is way above what everyone else around me feels, including my best friend the Commonwealth. How much favors do I have with this guy? I actually have a lot. Nice. Perfect. I wanted to do that anyway. But if I'm to lose Austria as an ally, I would need a new friend, and I remembered I remembered that Russia wanted to be friends. Russia has this heart. Russia would accept an alliance right now. He is currently attacking the Ottomans and defending against the Commonwealth Hungarian War, which he will not call me into either of them. So I've decided that Russia needs to happen as a friend. And if I get Russia as a friend, if we look at the ledger, military armies, Russia is the second biggest army in the entire game, and he is half of our army, so that's, you know, kind of funny. But he is still the second biggest army in the game. And that makes me feel a lot safer than Austria, who is half of his strength. So I think Russia would be a good replacement for Austria, and would also serve to compensate for Castillo, you know, being at war with us to prevent, um, you know, these few losers from declaring war because otherwise they might think they have a chance. But, not with Russia as a friend. So, we are going to P.U. Kisti. We are going to do it. There's a few steps to that. We're gonna ally Russia. We're gonna cancel military access because I don't want to go down to minus three stability. If I can go to minus two stability, it's gonna be worth it. So we're gonna do all of those things. Russia is a friend. I've also decided that I want to vassalize this loser. So I will do that, and um, we've lost some effects of whatever, Hesse accepted alliance, where I have an army that is black flagged apparently. Where is it going? It's not even going anywhere. Oh crap, Persia has problems. Go save Persia. You have one job, army. So I'm gonna go do that. This army is gonna run towards Castille. Why were you going that way? Oh, right, because there's rebels up there, but there's already an army taking care of it, so never mind. So we'll have three armies, potentially four, ready to punch Castille in the face. I make so much money. Champagne wants a marriage, you can have it. Um, I am therefore going to raise another endgame legion in preparation for all of this, because we can afford it. We have a ton of money. I still need to core a few things. Sort by cost. Sivas is the worst one. Did I uh, kick unrest in all these provinces? That more is missing. I did not kick that one. Alright. And Sivas I did kick. Where am I going to see rebels next? Ferdinand separatists are active. Tabarestani separatists are active. I got some other losers that are going to spawn, but... All in all, I can leave that one army to the task. And that one as well. I can leave two armies to the task. And that should be good enough. Um, and now, let us continue the process of backstabbing the crap out of one of our longest lasting friends. When can I send 
July 30th. We got three steps to do. Iraq, you can have access because I don't hate you that much just yet. I uh, still can't core anything. The birth of Nutrastamara babe. Nice, there's a baby that's born. Uh, hopefully it's not a Castilian baby. No, it was not. Excellent. SA wants a marriage. He can have it. Can I vassalize you now? 31st of July. Okay. To solve this alliance. Still no legal hair. Okay. Okay. We broke our alliance with our best friend. Wait a day. Vassalize this loser. And then, if I look at my vassals, Hesse, I can enforce religion on you, and I can place a relative on throne, and you're still okay. Okay, when can I do the next thing? August 31st. We've occupied Stade. Oh yeah, I need to start a bullshit war against uh, something. And I was also thinking that Mapush is probably a good target. He is allied to Shadowa. Shadowa is allied to only Mapush. So I can attack both of them. If I'm stuck attacking both of them anyway. Um. Wait, Tapuya maybe? No. Is there anything else? Anything that would be appropriate for us to kill right now? Um. In here? No. Micmac? He's allied to Mahikan. What the hell is my. Oh, it's that thing. Micmac makes sense. I can declare a war. I, why can't I throw the Portugal at it? Distant war and he's in love debt. Really? But... Okay, he would come against this guy. Um, apparently that's not a distant war, but this is! Go figure. What about the south then? What about Shadowa? It's still a distant war. Alright. Well, if I have to attack Chickasaw to call Portugal in the garbage war, let's do it. I didn't care anyway. Right? Right. So we got our bullshit war started. Um, Castile will now not accept an alliance because he does not want to ally people at war. August 31st is here. Claim throne. Boom. And now... October 2nd. Austria broke their alliance with us. We expected that to happen. He will join the coalition later. But it will be too late. It will simply be way too late. Core? Can't core. Alright. We are approaching the important day. October 2nd. Declare war. Breaking truce. This will piss off no one new. I don't think Austria is now properly... Pro wow, Austria feels five aggressive expansion. No one cares. And Portugal will not come. It cost me four stability. And the CB is at the very bottom. Claim on throne. Gotta make sure that we take that. Alright. Forming a personal union. Let's go. Boom! We are fighting for the Castilian throne, ladies and gentlemen. Let's march to Toledo. And Vizcaya, I guess. Let's march! Austria has cancelled the rights to military access that has been generously given by us. That is fine. Austria, you've allied Great Britain anyway, so the idea is that you are the next target. Um, you have five heavies here. I have one. My ships are not upgraded. I should upgrade them. Let's murder a ton of sailors. Alright. We are sieging our war goal. And now Portugal is fighting uh, some garbage in the other end of the world. Ah, <sighs> oh, come on. You have one job. Austria has cancelled military access. New Gondor, go do that. We'll have Portuguese Mexico helping us in these wars anyway, so it's not going to be hard. Dra has converted. Convert Brunswick, might as well. Can't kick up stability yet. Could kick down uh, this. Am I... 
I'm behind in Diplotech, but not by a noticeable amount. And I don't like having a lot of war exhaustion, so I'm just gonna kick all of that down. Looming disaster, internal conflicts, because we don't have enough stability. We will need to fix that. Can I steal points from my estates? I can steal military points. Don't mind if I do. And now I can actually tech up. Nice, we're ahead of time. Okay, too many diplo relations. Austria and Castilla are costing us points. Uh, do I have a spare diplomat? I do, so I can revoke the guarantee on Austria. Good. Now. Now is the easy part. Fighting Castille alone. He is alone and he is more or less friendless. Meet Gia, Algerian separatists. Don't even care. Do I have an army in this side of the world? I do not. Doesn't even matter. Okay. Let's go kill them. I can't. I'm being blocked by forts. Let's go siege Granada then. Yemeni separatists. That's kind of annoying considering where they are. Persia can siege himself. Those are Tabaristani separatists. I don't care. Where are the Yemeni separatists then? They're down here. I have to go kill that. Onwards. I apparently have to kill these guys on the way there. No longer renting out an army. Oh, I can gain a stability. Nice! Free stability. Vizcaya has fallen. Uh, oh, it's that thing. Nice. Okay, I've taken a fort. Level 2 fort. Not surprising. Let me go sit on that. And now Castilla is trying to occupy a random stuff in our Africa. It does not affect us one bit. Um, there is blockading occurring and New Gondor is seeing his boats having a hard time. Oh right, Castilian colonies are involved in here. Oops. Well, that's going to change at some point. We've won the Battle of Yasuj. Which is nice. I need to assign a general to this army because there's a two-star general here. Um, let's take this guy. Okay, how big is this fort? It's a level 9 fort. Holy crap. I'm sieging a level 9 fort. But I did bring a lot of cannons. Hess, uh, here you go, Hess. Take the resources. Um, I'll actually go kill that because I sp actually I have another army. It's just four rebels up in the north. Nice. Okay. Now how are we doing? Granada is a pain. We are apparently winning the Castilian War. There's level eight forts. I hate level eight forts. Bane of my existence. We are fighting the Hessian Pretender Rebels. You will die. Only a Trastamara can reign here. Oh, hey, Austria. Oh, Austria is in a regency, but it's a strong claim. Too bad. Uh, we can almost core this. Rebel uprisings are active in Algeria. Uh, no, I am not re influencing Austria. This is a waste of money at this point. It was the first time I did it. But uh, I did not think to cut my losses then. I know better now. And you guys are all going to die. You are next on the chopping block. I feel sad that I fed them land. That's going to make them harder to kill. But, uh, oh, Kesti has taken Marrakesh. What do you know? You have so many troops in Kesti right now. Where else are we getting rebels? Uh... Brandenburgian separatists. Let's go sit on that. Shall we? Um, Persia's on sieging stuff. That's fine. We'll need to kill these guys. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep going. We're getting ourselves free expansion. The sad part is... We will most likely not be able to click on the button to instant annex Castille. Um, because we'll be, he'll be way too big. 
Like, he'll probably has, have gained way too many provinces. We have lost the claim to our throne on Castille. Fortunately, we're already in a war for it. And I claim Enrique a false hair. We've converted Hanover. Chickasaw will be forced to give money. He wants out. No, I'm gonna just eat all of you. Let's convert Stade while we're at it. There were already rebels that spawned here, anyway. Altmark has converted. Good. Uh, Cassel, we got an army in that corner of the world, so might as well, right? Galbia is still being converted, albeit slowly. Um, we're being fort blocked. As soon as we take Toledo, we'll have access to our uh, possessions down here. Almeria has fallen. It's just an occupation, though, so it's not really important. Uh, Savoy is helping with the sieges, like the good vassal that he is. I want to go kill that so much. Maybe Gusti will kill them for me. Maybe he'll be like, hey, I can snipe a fort. And then he'll snipe the fort. Saxon separatists in Würzburg, we can kill that. Okay. Beautiful. Spare no expenses. Excellent. Algerian separatists have taken the fort, so never mind. Würzburg is getting killed. The Yemeni separatists. Can I go kill them? I can't go kill them. Oh well. Okay. Well, that was that. Granted, generalship has expired. I can get myself another general. Yeah! Free general. Best kind of general. What's his stats? Ah, not very good. Oh well. I should actually uh, steal the sieging guy and dump the new guy down here where he will most likely be useless. Because this guy is a sieging guy. He's gonna go sit on forts and take them. Oh, we got a general that uh, kicked the bucket over there in that corner. Uh, we are about to take our war goal, in theory. It's hard to tell with level 8 forts, because level 9 forts. I think I'm only sieging that once in my life. Screw that. If there's another one over here when I'll fight Portugal. Because let's not kid ourselves, I am not going to be vassalizing, um, or, like, pewing, um, Portugal. That is just not gonna happen, unless I'm extremely lucky in the next few years. Cheyenne has taken things, but all just does not matter. Do I have a fort here? Hey, you! Oh, he won't accept. Whatever, I don't really care. Well, actually, that's not true. I can't peace out of that war because of Portugal. If I peace out of that war, Portugal will join Castile in a defensive call. So I have to keep the Chickasaw War going anyway. I almost forgot that detail. That would have been a waste. Okay, I can core things! Yes! Core all the things. Rebels? Uh, Hessian Separatists in Kassel, because we're converting it. Funnily enough, the Brandbergian Separatists went away. So that's cool. We'll just sit on Kassel. It's comfortable over here. Um, Come on, 57 progress on the level 9 fort. This is so long. I need this war to not last too long. It is absolutely important. Imperative, even. Good, we have the war goal. Now we just need Castille to uh, tire out. Oh, I can't cross the strait. Um, I can't take the 30 stack and go... No, I can't. No, I can't because the Granada Fort is still blocking me. Fine. Can I assault that stupid fort? I'm gonna try. That was a terrible idea. Holy crap, I lost all of my men. That was uh, stupid of me. Oh well. Oh, and apparently that cost me uh, several uh, troops. I lost. Hmm, I was at 25. Let's build 9. Yeah, I think there's something about mercenaries that... Oh, Friesland has coalitioned us. Hello, Friesland! 
It's okay, I'm coming for you. You just don't know it yet. Where is Friesland even? I don't even know where Friesland is. Because he got eaten here. This is not Friesland, this is Utrecht. Friesland used to be in Gelre. Hungary has coalitioned us. Friesland is straight up exiled to uh, here. Alright. Hey Castilla, how do you feel about Union with Castilla? No? Very well. Okay, we got the troops that spawned. Trade protection against Hungary has been gained. Um, Russia wants marriage, he can have it. We are now friends. No, you may not have peace. Um, Kurt Horsberg? Yeah. Trade dispute against Hungary, that's fine. Hungary, I needed to kill anyway. Funny how these things work. Um, yeah, assaulting level 8 fort. I don't know what I was thinking. Then again, I did technically have 25,000 troops against 7,000. Wasn't supposed to be hard. But alas. Okay, now this war score is going to tick in our favor for quite a while longer. Can I go kill that stack of boots? I don't know where he went. Aha! We are going to have battle, Castille. I attack your boats. Okay. Luxembourg and separatists. I sank some boats. I gained a trade ship. Why not? Let's come over here to make the Siege of Granada more palpable. And once that's taken, we'll be able to invade uh, North Africa. Still got some rebels building. Castille has taken Hodna. He's taking all of my crap forts while I'm trying to take his really hard to take forts. Um, if I move away, does this... Yeah, it does affect the siege. I need all of the cannons there. I need 15 cannons. Yeah, that's the thing. Those 45 stacks are now the default sieging stacks at the same time as they are the... the main combat stacks, too. 30 stacks are, like, so last decade. Okay, we now have access to this side of the pond. Let's go on that side of the pond and uh, take things. And by take things, I mean retake things. Fairly certain the vassals can deal with whatever else is left. Kisti will eventually accept the union. It is a matter of time. But he will accept it. And then life will be fantastic. It didn't take long for him to get an heir, though. Oh, Yemeni separatists. We expected them to come back. It took them a while, though. They got uh, Sunni Zelts in Laristan. That's problematic. Must go kill that too. Persia's doing a great job turning everything uh, Catholic, though. It's beautiful. Is this a mountain? Ah, oh, this is a mountain. Crap. Nobility, don't be jerks. Okay. And nobility or jerks. Oh, we've taken Galicia! Okay. Let's go to Cadiz. Castilla is just running from me right now. That's what it feels like. Uh, hey, Isfahan? I know this province. Hello, Isfahan. Um, okay, I'm gonna kill that. And then did I convert this? No, I need to. I need to convert this as soon as I can. I need to forget about it, and I need. I need to not forget about it, and I need to convert it. Good. Okay, Castilla Union. I want to end this war as soon as possible. And right now, it's not happening. Uh, take a 30 stack and run to Kef. No, I can't. I'm being blocked by probably my own forts. 
Bulgarian separatists in Plodiv. Um, I've liberated that. I need to go kill the Sunni zealots. Why aren't you killing your own Sunni zealots? Don't tell me you want to return to being Sunni. Castilla is still occupying all of my crap. Um, I have enough war score against Castilla so that Portugal would not be called if I peace out against these guys, but... Uh, oh, look at that. I'm about to get uh, this siege anyway. Yeah, okay. I think I can peace out this war now. Um, it's not controlled by me or my allies. Okay. I don't really care anyway. Right? That's uh, beautiful. That is how one eats natives. Boom. This should all go to New Gondor. It did not. I have four provinces of complete uselessness. Okay. That is fine. That is fine. Um, now Portugal should not be able to join our war against us. Because Castilla is losing too badly. And as long as this does not change, then there will not be a change on that front either. Uh, he could not make it. Okay. I will completely ignore everything that's not a fort and I will dash to Castille as soon as uh, I can pass. Ardalan Separatists. Where is that? Oh, it's in Persia still. Wow, Persia, you're so unstable. What the hell happened to you? Oh, yes. 20 war exhaustion. You're giving me a huge army? I don't need it, though. Thanks for the offer, but I don't need it. Actually, I would have needed it to kill this. How long has this been there? Crap. I need to... Ah, oh, there's so many rebels. I need to kill all of that. Gassel has converted. Perfect. Okay. Should be able to pass this way. Alright. Now I wanted to... I said I wanted to convert the stupid island. I have a missionary. Because if rebels spawn on the stupid island, I'll have trouble. Heck, in courtings. I don't want the courtings. I want to give them to Castille. Uh, ooh, points. Only reform the navy. Get a lot of diplotech. Because I am... Sufficiently ahead of time, but sufficiently behind in Diplo, so... Ooh, beautiful. Um... Gusti? Yes? Yes? No? It's getting closer. We are getting closer, ladies and gentlemen. The PU of the century is going to happen. I've apparently lost a lot of manpower. Alright, Ottoman Separatists, I have to go kill that. I accidentally a Castille. Alright. Where else do we got rebels? Hejazi Syrian, Hessian, Tunisian. Hessian? Oh, because I'm converting? No, not even. Here? Here? Can I, uh... It's probably because I have a lot of war exhaustion. It is! Can get rid of a lot of problems with uh, that. Didn't I kill the Sunni Zealots? No, I didn't. Damn it! Stop it! You are breaking everything! You are making everything wrong! Die! Okay, we've killed them. Finally, Bulgarian Separatists in Plodiv. We were not able to make it. They will still die, however. I was coring it, too. Imperialism against a few things. That's okay, though. Um, steep peace. Still not, but almost. We're getting closer and closer. I have to come kill these Ottoman guys. 
Ah, oh, crap, I'm not even killing the Bulgarians. What the hell? I win the morale fight, but... Uh... Oh, nice, I won. Okay. okay Castilla has taken Aleppo. We ran into some Tunisian Separatists. There's another huge stack of Tunisian Separatists that appeared. Yeah, you just come in and siege things. And then I need to have you guys advance in a straight line. Apparently I've reached the end of the episode. So for now, I'll thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time, where we will P.U. Kisti. See you guys next time.